Hey guys, Dr. Kyle Loveless here. Hey, I want to shoot a quick video. This is actually the workout tip of the week for this week. And I love this tip. This is actually one of my um, things I pretty much tell every patient after they work out. And the tip today is, um, is going to be the fact that what you do after your exercise is just as important as what you're doing during and before. They said that the number one, they've said that the number one reason or the number one reason for injury from exercise is actually post-exercise, not during the exercise, okay? So the number one reason people get injured from exercising or start having back pain or leg pain or neck pain or any of those things is after your workout. And so the most important thing you can do after your workout is to stretch out your body and get it moving. Post-exercise is how your body is, is, is the optimal time to form your posture. It's optimal time to form the way your body works. So I always tell patients, we have um, these things called Denny rolls, and I meant to grab one, but it's a neck roll that you lay on. It's a certain structure. And this is actually the only thing that's been through double-blinded studies that we know can get a curve in your neck. It's called a Denny roll. Okay, so you want to know about that, ask us and put me a message. I'll get you set up with a Denny roll. But it's something you actually lay on. You put it behind your neck and you lay on it and it increases the curve in your neck. The best time to actually do that is post-exercise or post-adjustment when your spine is really moving, your muscles are warm, your body is really ready to form into that position. So the same thing goes with the rest of your body. So post-exercise, stretching is key. Most people, they work out. They get done and they go sit in a car like this or they sit on their couch like this. I see kids all the time where they're kind of twisted up. They get on their text messaging, all that stuff. Worst thing you can do because your body actually will form faster into that position. So the number one stretches I recommend, number one are your hip flexors. Okay, so one leg forward, one leg back. You're bringing forward, leaning forward, you're stretching yourself back, getting your hip flexor stretches are key. Those are the ones that get the tightest when you're sitting all day long. The second one is your piriformis stretch where you're getting your legs crossed bending down into this position. You can look these up on YouTube. There's lots of great videos on how to stretch these, but your piriformis, which is part of your hip extensors. Also the, um, what's the other one I was gonna do? Um, oh, IT bands, so in your IT bands as well, where you can stretch and lean to the side and get your IT band stretched out. And then the rest of the system, the, the quads, you know, your quad stretches, and then also getting your upper body. A lot of us forget about our upper body. We always do the lower body, but we forget the upper body. So getting back like this, walking through a doorway, stretching it out, using your arms with a pole and stretching it out back and forth is key, but also making sure you're in a good posture post-exercise. Remember most uh, accidents have, or most injuries come post-exercise. So what you do after your workout is actually crucially important. Also rehydrating your body, get a little pinch of sea salt and water will give you your electrolytes, not Gatorade. Okay, so that's an extra uh, extra tip for you there. Cool. Hey, and awesome. Remember two weeks ago, I did a tip and my workout tip of the week was find a workout partner. And that's a huge one. I want to revisit that because I get to work out today with my buddy Craig and, and I've gotten to do this about once or twice a week with them. And it's a game changer. It makes you wake up early, makes you show up. It's accountability. So find yourself a partner. But really today's tip is stretch. Before is important, but post exercise is crucial. You can do your IT band, rolling them out. You can roll up your back with a, um, with a roll ball or a um, roller if you'd like as well. But most important is get those hip flexors, get the piriformis, get the IT bands, get the chest pulled back, get your head back in the position. If you have a Denny roll, lay on that Denny roll for about five to 10 minutes afterwards. That's key. Don't just go right into this kind of hunker down position, being lazy again, like we do the rest of our day. And that's the key. Okay, so that's your workout tip of the week, guys. Hope you liked it. Hey, like this, love it, and share it. And give me feedback. If you have any good tips that you think I should be sharing or things you want me to talk about when it comes to working out, please let me know. I'd love to do, uh, I'll make sure we can do that as well. Cool. Hey, guys, go to uh, queencityhealthcenter.com. I'm in trouble talking this morning. Go to queencityhealthcenter.com for more information on your health. We have an awesome blog. Go on YouTube. Uh, Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Dr. Hall, Drs. Holly and Kyle Loveless on YouTube is the name of the YouTube channel. We have tons of videos, everything from workout videos, nutrition videos, detoxing videos, um, chiropractic videos, symptom videos like back pain, neck pain, digestive problems. We talk about hormones, all kinds of cool stuff on there. So go to Drs. Kyle and or Drs. Holly and Kyle Loveless on YouTube, and you can um, subscribe on that as well and get all of our videos as well. Cool. And as your workout tip of the week, guys, you have an awesome day, and we'll talk to you next time.